All right, first grade friends, now that we have wrapped up our informative paragraph about text features, captions specifically, we are ready to teach our readers about Halloween. Now, make sure you take a second to think, what do you want to teach your reader about Halloween? There's so many different things you could teach them about. What do you think I want to teach my reader about Halloween? You're right, I want to teach my reader that on Halloween, many people carve pumpkins and light them up with a candle, and we call them jack-o'-lanterns. So I have my teaching picture. Now I'm gonna start writing my sentences. We know that we're gonna start this paragraph with a topic sentence. And I'm gonna write, I will teach you about Halloween. I will, you'll have these sentence starters in front of you, friends. Teach you about, notice my nice finger space, Halloween. Your teacher is going to tell you how to spell Halloween. It'll be up on your screen. We use an uppercase H because it's the name of a holiday and you always capitalize the names of holidays, just like you do people. I will teach you about Halloween, period. That's my topic sentence. That's the sentence that goes on my thumb. Now I'm ready to teach about Halloween. Those are my middle three fingers. What do I wanna teach about Halloween? Well, I want people to know that Halloween is at the end of October. I also want my um, reader to know, not only is it at the end of October, but people carve pumpkins called jack-o'-lanterns. So I'm gonna write those sentences. I will teach you about Halloween. Halloween is at the end. Hmm, how do I spell end, Ms. Burns? Stretch it. End. End. Eh, eh. What vowel do you hear? Short E. End. N E N. End. D. Halloween is at the end of, O F, of October. October is probably on the calendar in your classroom. We also use an uppercase O for October because we always capitalize the beginning letter of a month. oct o -ber. So there's one teaching sentence. Halloween is at the end of October. Whoops, what did I forget at the end, friends? A period. Now let me write another teaching sentence. I want my reader to know that people often carve pumpkins called jack-o'-lanterns. So Halloween is at the end of October. People carve pumpkins called jack-o'-lanterns. Let me write those lines so I don't forget what I'm trying to write. People, finger space, carve, come down to my next line because I ran out of space over here. Pumpkins, if you need to put your two fingers down to make your space, you can. People carve pumpkins called, two finger space, jack-o'-lanterns period at the end to tell my reader that's the end of my thought. Now I can go back and write it. People, uppercase P, because it's the beginning of my sentence. People, hmm, people, what do I hear? I hear P, E, E, pull, P, O, people. Now if you know that people is spelled P, E, O, P, L, E, all the power to you, but again, friends, we just need you to write the sounds you hear. People carve, k, arv, k, 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 ar, arv, v. What do you hear at the end? Carve, v, carve. Now, if you know carve is spelled like this, again, all the power to you, but we are looking for first grade friends that are gonna write the sounds that they hear. So if you didn't know carve was spelled like that and you didn't spell it perfectly, we're cool with you as long as you wrote the sounds you hear. People carve, Pumpkins. Ooh, that's fun. Pumpkins. That's a two syllable word. Let's stretch out each syllable. Pump. P -p what letter, friends? P. P. Uh, uh. What vowel? U. Pump. Pum. M. Pump. Pump. P. That's my first syllable. Pumpkins. K. Ins. I'm pretending I got that rubber band and I'm stretching those sounds. K-ins. K-in. 
I hear the word in. I-N spells in. Pumpkins. It sounds like a Z, but I know it's got to be a suffix S because it's not just one pumpkin. It's like pumpkins all over the world. More than one. Pumpkins. People carve pumpkins called jack-o'-lanterns. Called. Well, I know how to spell all. So, k all. K alled. Jack-o'-lanterns. Guess what? I already wrote jack-o'-lantern up in my label. So I can just snag it from the top. Jack, and my brother's name is Jack, so that's helpful. Jack O Lanterns. If you want to keep it at just two teaching sentences, friends, for the sake of time, that's totally fine. You're still teaching about Halloween. Now you're going to wrap up your paragraph with a closing sentence. Remember, your closing sentence sounds very similar to your opening, and we're just going to write, Now you know all about Halloween. Okay? Now uppercase N because it's the beginning of my sentence. Now, two finger space between my words. You, two finger space. No, all about Halloween. How do I spell Halloween? Oh, I just wrote it up on the top. I'm just gonna copy it from my topic sentence. Halloween. Now, if you don't wanna write about how people carve pumpkins, on Halloween called jack-o'-lanterns, there's so many things you could write about, friends. You could write about trick-or-treating. You could write about... I'm drawing a blank, friends. You could write about costumes, how people draw... Um, I'm sorry, dress up in lots of different costumes. You could write about how people watch scary movies on Halloween. All of those things will teach us about Halloween. So go ahead, start with your teaching picture. And then you're going to write your topic sentence, some teaching sentences, and wrap it up with a closing sentence.